Wow, that new driver surely looks good. Should I upgrade from 528.02? to? Well, let's find out. So sit down, strap in, let's go. So yesterday I released a video, let me show you quickly. Uh, in video drivers 532.03 versus the latest driver 535.98. And guys, I wasn't a fan of 532, but 535 had very good raw performance. So naturally, um, my viewers asked me the best driver so far this year in terms of latency and 1% lows has been 528.02. So people asked me to compare 528.02 versus the latest driver 535.98. So that's what I'm comparing in this video. Guys, just one or two things though. I can't, I can't fully recommend the latest driver if you play online games. I'm gonna show you why. Okay, there is a, a, a issue with flickering in this driver, but that's easily subverted if you actually just go into your browser and disable hardware acceleration. If you're on, if you like me on Opera GX, all you do is go to settings and then just scroll all the way to the bottom, go to advanced, and yet again, scroll all the way to the bottom. And then I always just put this off by default, but just disable hardware acceleration. If you're in Chrome, just go to settings, performance, and then just disable hardware acceleration. That will subvert any uh, on screen flickering caused by any drivers um the other issue and the reason i can't wholeheartedly recommend the latest driver especially if you're using or playing online games is the dpc latency issue um some people uh, let me just find where that is some people are actually saying that they experiencing up to 50 15 percent loss in call of duty modern warfare 2.0 and uh, I'm assuming that most of you guys actually play that game. So, guys, if you play online games, I really don't recommend the latest driver. I reckon just stay on 528.02. But if you're like me and you play mainly online, uh, offline, single player, third person games, I do recommend the latest driver 535.98. Um, because, look, a lot of the games that I test, uh, let's just see. Uh, Returnal has been updated, The Last of Us has been updated, uh, God of War has recently been updated, Spider-Man Remastered, I just updated the game a couple of days ago. So what you find is that 528.02 is gradually uh, performing a little bit worse, but not much, just a little bit worse. Um, you'll see the average FPS is coming down and the 1% lows are coming down, but not, not greatly. It's still a very potent driver when you compare the 1% lows versus the average FPS. So it still gives you a very good stability percentage. But for single player online, uh, single player offline, open world, third person games where latency isn't an issue, I recommend 535.98 because it's got higher average FPS, it's got higher 1% lows. And when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, the stability on this latest driver is great. But not for online games. Online games, uh, I'm not actually not even going to go into the stats and, and talk for long. Because unfortunately, the DPC latency issue is still there. Um, so yeah, guys, it's, uh, it's such a pain. Because NVIDIA does an update and whatever one thing they fix be it for online they break something for offline and then they fix something for offline and then they break latency in online so yeah unfortunately one one driver fixes all doesn't work because yeah it always causes issues in some something else it's like when you're trying to trying to stop gaps with your finger in a wall then the water starts pouring out somewhere else if you if you get my analogy so guys if you my recommendation if you play online games just stay on 528.02 if you don't play online games and latency isn't the issue for you i recommend updating to the latest driver 535.98 it's got very good one percent lows it's got decent average fps and it's very stable 
but it's got a latency issue. If you play online games, don't update to the latest driver, just stay on 528.02. And then just lastly guys, for people that are saying that there's a, let me just put the sound down here a little bit. Oh, anyways, um, for people saying that there's a, um, a problem with uh, temperatures, just show you quickly. As you can see, the temperatures are fine there. I don't notice any uh, temperature problems. And just to show you here, that's on the latest driver. So temperatures aren't really a problem, but the latency is. So that's a buzzkill. So if you if you play online games, just don't update to the latest driver. If you play offline games, update to the latest driver. And that's my two cents. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. If you're still watching and you haven't subscribed by this time, now's the time to do so. Other than that, guys, each and every day, the same thing always applies. It's people like you that make a difference in this world. Cheers. Thank mm -hmm. you.